Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm P and today I'm going to be doing a book before movie. Oh my god, I don't have coffee. So grab your copy of Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and your coffee and let's get chatting. Today's mug is sponsored by Target. Hashtag ad. <laughs> this is your my first one. Got it from Ashley. If you're new, Book Before Movie is basically where I chat about why you should read whatever book I'm talking about before seeing its movie adaptation. And obviously today we're going to be talking about Dumplin'. So the Netflix film just came out for Dumplin'. Well, not just, I mean. <laughs> and I just read the book and I just saw the movie. So um, I have some things to talk about. So what I really liked about the movie adaptation is I thought the cast was superb <laughs> and everyone looked like they did in the books and like all the sets were exactly how I pictured them and it was just so so magical to really like see that come to life. It's always kind of weird when you like see a book to movie adaptation and it's kind of like a little different than what you thought like reading the book. I loved that personally, that's a big plus for me. Do you know what this book is about? I'll tell you what it's about. This is about, <laughs> should I read the book? It's about a girl named Willow Dean Dixon. And every year in her town, a very small town, Texas ain't she great. Should I do this in a southern accent? No, I should not. They have a big beauty pageant, that's what the town's known for, and her mom is a former beauty queen. She's very like anti love in your body and lots of like that. Will is dealing with some grief of the loss of her aunt who is very close to her and raised her and um, she decides with her best friend Ellen and some other um, misfit not typical beauty contestants to join this year as kind of a protest. Um, they're not trying to win they're just trying to prove a point you know that there isn't one specific type for a beauty queen. And it's a really, really good book. I think this might be one of the few times where I say that I quite, I don't even know, because <laughs> I can't like fully say, say this, but like the movie adaptation kind of fixed some of the problems I had with the book. So if you saw my wrap up, I read this last month-ish. Mm. It's cold coffee. <laughs> and I was kind of annoyed because the main character, Will, was kind of like making fun of people for their differences. And that was like her whole point is that like you shouldn't make fun of people for your differences just because you're plus size or just because you have a weird walking thing or like whatever. Um, like you shouldn't be made fun of. Like that's just you. She was kind of doing that in the book, but I really loved how that was not present in the movie. And I was like very skeptical going into it because I was like, if this turns out to be like an anti- that movie I will be so pissed. One thing I did not appreciate in the film was how underdeveloped the relationship was. There is a little bit of a romance in here and I swooned so much and I was so glad that they cast Luke Benward as love interest because he is so beautiful. <laughs> I was really really excited to see that he was cast but the romance was super super underdeveloped. There were about three scenes with both of them and it just kind of was like really heavy and like trying to get things done like really fast because I guess there was too much time in the film or whatever director's decision. It just made it very abrupt very like, like oh I like you I like you too and then it's like oh here's this conflict oh we're good now. I get that that wasn't um, the central plot of the story but it definitely was a big part when I read it or I at least felt like it was. I definitely was uh, underwhelmed by the representation of that. I did not like it but I thought it was kind of weird like when I was reading the book like yes it is very much about pageants but I felt like it wasn't that much about it in the book <laughs> if that makes any sense. I feel like it was more you know Willow's journey and it was Willow she never gets called Willow. Will's. <laughs> it was Will's journey through her internal struggle of losing her aunt and how much she meant to her and kind of trying to grow up with her mom and she's not exactly the most accepting person just kind of dealing with you know high school drama and all that stuff i felt like it was more of a coming of age story when i read it but the movie just took it full force pageant and i feel like we didn't get enough character like character development um of will or dumplin stopped being more about her even though it was about her i don't know how to explain this <laughs> but it did send a really positive message that is why i really liked the book is 
just has a very positive message, you know, go big or go home. I love the Dolly Parton aspects. Jolene, 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 I'm banging on you, please don't take my man. And the drag elements, which I also love. But I just felt like everything was really, really brief. And I get that in movie adaptation, but I feel like there are so many, so many, so, so many movie adaptations that maintain the development and relationships and characters and plot while being a movie and also staying true to the book. But I just feel like it was very underdeveloped as a movie. Overall, I still really enjoyed it. It's a really fun movie, but it's kind of like I have to take it as a separate thing in order to really appreciate it. So I would say read the book first. I definitely like the book a lot more just because it is like more impactful. I think the movie kind of made it a lot lighter and like although it had some of the elements that were a little heavier, a little more realistic, it definitely um, made it more of a fun like rom-com I guess. I don't know. <laughs> is that what it's called? Whereas the book actually like delved into things, you really saw people growing and relationships changing and like it's pretty realistic I would say in the character department and I really think that Julie Murphy did a good job with that. I just feel like that was lost in the film so I would definitely definitely for this one I'm gonna say it in every video but to read the book first and then watch the movie. There are some beautiful things that I loved seeing in my mind and then seeing it on the screen, which I appreciate so much, but overall, but before movie. <laughs> All right, so lastly, I'm going to share a quote from the book that is one of my favorite quotes. It says, All my life, I've had a body worth commenting on. And if living in my skin has taught me anything, it's that if it's not your body, it's not yours to comment on. So yes, that is the quote I chose. And yes, my coffee is empty. So that means it is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below any other um, book recommendations you guys want me to do a book before movie on that have a movie adaptation. I already have some. Um, I actually have some on my Goodreads. So if it's not on my Goodreads, you can um, comment it because um, I have some ideas but other than that like comment subscribe do all of the things and I will see you in my next video bye